hi guys welcome back to my channel um if you are tuning in for the very very first time i say welcome 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 thank you so much and those who are coming back for the second time third time fourth time those who have subscribed thank you so much guys um i really appreciate you and then if you have not subscribed to this channel i will ask you to hit the subscribe button let's make this channel grow guys i depend on you for this channel to grow so that we can impact lives and share information that is relevant and also you know what spread our wings and and reach people from each part of the world all right so my name is Rodrigo Koto to those who don't know me yes I'm an academic I love studying and then I love finding new knowledge and exploring and then I'm so I've been awarded the kind of asthma fellowship program so I'm gonna be studying starting with my course in 2021 September so meaning that those of you who are applying for the kind of asthma fellowship program chances are that we will go together next year so I hope I go with you all right so today I'm going to share the stage number two of the Kata Asthma Fellowship Program because yes, some of you have received emails congratulating you that you can now move to stage number two of the application, which is a more detailed application. So congratulations guys, I'm so proud of you. Some of you have been um, inboxing me on Facebook and says, Rodney, oh man, I made it to stage number two. So I'm so, so happy for you guys, so, so proud. And I'm saying that let's work together. Let's do this thing to the end. So um, guys, with stage number two, né? It's, it's, it's detailed as I've said. So uh, I'm going to take you through the, the sections that you'll have to complete there. Although they, they, you, you may even check it on your, the guideline that you are given, please read that guideline. It's very, very, very much important. It's going to help you a great deal. And then so stage number, uh, the, the first section is, um, is personal information. So that one is just general information about your passport numbers and all those in your names and so forth. And then second, second um, section, it's educational background. So here you are going to indicate where you have studied, um, um, when, from when to when, you know, that information. And, and guys, I think it's also important né, to... To, to make you aware that, you know what, institutions of higher learning in South Africa are different. Some of them, they, they have the grading scale, meaning that they can, they can um, give, uh, when they award your honors degree, they can say it's a first class honors or second class honors or third class honors. So, but there are institutions that don't do that. For them, it's just a pass, fail, pass distinction. So, it's, so sometimes they may even request that, you know, you get something in writing. Um, from your institution to confirm how do they do the grading system. So you should just be on the lookout also for that. All right, but then, yeah, just be on the lookout for that one if it is um, actually needed, all right. And then, um, so thirdly, there is an issue of work experience, right? Oh, before go to work experience, um, the issue of uh, your academic courses that you, you have chosen that you want to do in Ireland, guys, you, there you need to um, substantiate or just add more information, more flesh as to why do you want to start that course. Like for instance, um, to I want to go to the National University of Ireland. I want to study gender, globalization and rights. Why do I want to study that? You need to, to explain and how is that course linking with the sustainable development goals of your own country. So meaning that it is very much important to familiarize yourself with the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals of South Africa, or the, the ones by the United Nations, so that you understand that the Vision 2030, what is it that we want to achieve as a nation? Because the, the Irish government, or the, the, their initiative in terms of like um, supporting um, scholars to go and study, is so that we come back to our country and help to build and also to um, advance those um, sustainable development goals to make them a reality. So it's, um, it's, it's, it's quite important to, to take into consideration. So you need to include that information that I want to go and study this course because this course will help, will help my country in this way and this is how I would give back to my country after I've been capacitated with such knowledge from such prestigious institutions um, of world class. Okay, so and then we'll go to work experience number three. That is where now, you know, you just have to indicate yeah, where you have worked before, or where you are working now, what are your roles and responsibilities, you know, um, so that, you know, it, it shows you know, how these things link with even what you want to do. All right, I think that one is, is simple. And then number four will be your what? 
Um, oh, your, your personal statement. <laughs> you know, most people have been asking Rodney, personal statement, hey, how do you deal with this thing? Um, personal statement, actually, it is the cream of your application. I think I've mentioned this one in, 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 in the other video. It's the cream of your application, meaning that, yeah, this is where you sell yourself, my friend. This is where now you present yourself. You allow the, the, the selection committee, you know, to see you on that paper, on that personal statement, you know, to, 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 to want to meet up with you, man, to invite the interventions, want to meet this guy, you know. So in the personal statement, you actually um, talk about your achievements, briefly your achievements, um, uh, what you are proud of, um, if now you have uh, received other maybe awards or some grants uh, previously, maybe if you have traveled uh, outside the country, like just like myself, because I was awarded a film, um, um, uh, travel scholarship um, to Germany, so you include such achievements, you know, those special achievements, you include them there, says, okay, I've, I've, I've done one, two, and three, and then um, you also talk about your, 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 your struggles sometimes, you know, maybe in, in this way, to say, like, maybe the challenges that you faced in your life and how you overcame them, you know, that, that one also shows the resilience, you know, um, from your side. You can also include that. And also you must talk about the sustainable development goals, as I've said. Like you must link your course that you want to do with the SDGs, you know, to say, I want to do this course because I want to enter this, how I'm going to help in my country. So there must be a link. It must show that this person, you are going there to come back, my friend, <laughs> so that you come and add value to this country. So you need to include that one on your personal statement. And and if you have some motto, a motto that it drives you in your life, you know, include that. If you have like quotes that keeps you going, you know what, that makes you not to give up, write those things down, man. Because it's about you. They, they, they stand for you. They represent you. So, and you should also in, indicate as to like, when now you come back from Ireland after that course, what is it that you're going to do in your country? How are you going to add value to this country? So you need to indicate such things so that it should show that this person has a vision. You have short-term goals. You also have long-term goals. And also you need to indicate what is it that you want to do in the future, man. You need to, to, to outline your goals. Have goals. To say, after this course, what do you plan to do? Do you plan to do a PhD? You indicate that if there is such. So you should be able to, to, to show how are you going to make a difference um, upon uh, your... Um, coming back to this country All right and then um so you'll have to 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 do that so sdgs guys this is the core sustainable development goals link those things link your course with the sdgs and then i'm telling you you won't go wrong and then um the other one section will be the issue of the international english language test um the islets in short and there's a video that i made on islets you can check it out so they can get to an understanding what is it that it is all about. However, like at this stage, it is not important for, for you to, to upload your eyelids results if you don't have them. But if you've written eyelids before and you have the results, you can um, include it um, or on, on that section. But if you don't, don't, have, don't stress about it for now. Because um, if you are um, invited to the third stage, which is the interview, then the embassy of Ireland will pay for your eyeless examinations. So that's cool, man. So it's cool. So you can relax for now. But if, if you do have, have the certificate, then upload it. So you can do that. So, but however, for more information on eyeless, check my, my video on, 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 on eyeless that I've done. And then um, another thing will be your, your supporting documents that will be needed. This one is very, very critical. Remember, um, on stage number one, I shared about recommendation letters. There are two recommendation letters that will be needed from you. Academic ones, meaning that you'll you have to communicate with your lecturers, your former professors, or your deans, or your whoever, who can give you a reference, an academic reference, who says they know you, they have taught you, they know your potential, and why do they believe that you deserve to be awarded the Kata Asmal Fellowship Program to study a master's degree in Ireland in 2021 from September. So, so you, you need to be, to be very, very much um, um, aware of that. So if you have not arranged or organized those um, letters, please do it as soon as possible because um, I, I've heard that the closing date for stage number two is 9 October. Um, that's what I heard. However, just make sure that you keep those documents ready. And, and, and also, guys, you need um, to, to certify your documents. 
uh, commission of oath they must be certified so make sure that you do that and then um the other thing will be remember when after you've submitted your online application for stage number two you will uh, you are also required to submit um a, a print a printed version of the application with uh, supporting documents on original format mm, right yes on original format so you also have to to do that so meaning that you have to your, your academic references must be original they must be signed and them original or not photocopy or, or emailed or scanned no they must be original so you need they need they need to to to, 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 to be signed and then um so and also including those other documents your degree your your academic transcripts um with a stamp of the commission of oath so so that you will be able to courier them to the embassy of ireland in pretoria all right so um they yeah during that time yes so so just make sure that you get everything ready and i'm telling you if you can do things right guys you stand a chance of being invited to stage number three for the interviews and then you'll be getting closer and closer and closer to begging that prestigious scholarship study in the republic of ireland so um i just hope that i managed to, to 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 at least to 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 be able to summarize what the stage number two is all about and also the tips that i've given in terms of what you should look out for so if you have other questions and clarities let's communicate on this youtube channel guys so on that video there is a comment section so you can just go to comment there if you like the video like it and if you want to say something say something you want to say hi rodney you can say hi rodney let's communicate and help each other grow guys and develop either academically and professionally so i i, I hope this was helpful at least to give you more more special on the issue of um the personal statement so you have to give it your all nail it man nail it give yourself time um write it and then you can even give other people your colleagues your friends you know your lecturers give them so that they can even check it for you if you know what it stands out because what will make you win this scholarship is that your application needs to stand out and show that it is the best because there are other outstanding um applicants even out there so i hope that this is helpful and then um you're gonna you know make it so all the best guys um i hope that we're gonna meet again on another video on stage number three which is interviews and the international english language testing system so all the best guys um let's talk soon bye